this is an educational video on how to manage a urinary catheter at home. During this video, you will learn how to connect, disconnect, and manage drainage devices, hygiene practices in order to prevent infection, and finally, how to manage minor complications. People are discharged from hospitals with a urinary catheter for the following reasons. To relieve urinary retention, following surgery on the bladder or prostate, or due to some neurological conditions, such as spinal cord injuries. A urinary catheter is a tube inserted into the bladder through the urethra to allow the bladder to empty freely. The urinary catheter is kept in place by a small balloon which is inflated within the bladder. It is vital that you wash your hands before and after touching the urinary catheter in order to reduce the chance of infection. A leg bag is connected to the urinary catheter during the day to allow you to mobilise freely and can be used underneath clothing discreetly. To connect the leg bag, remove the cap ensuring you do not touch the top of the tube. This will reduce the risk of introducing infection. A leg bag can be fastened to your leg by using the straps provided. Leg bags should be drained when half full to avoid excess tension being put on the urinary catheter. To drain the leg bag, position the tap downwards and drain into a clean container or toilet. When emptied, reposition the tap to the upward position. Alternatively, you will be given a drainage valve or flip flow to connect to your urinary catheter. To attach the flip flow, push the rigid end into the urinary catheter. To drain the flip flow, position the tap to a downward position. When emptied, reposition the tap to the upward position. When using a leg bag or flip flow, the urinary catheter can be secured using an adhesive secure device. This is stuck to the inside of your thigh to prevent excess movement or tension on the urinary catheter. Leg bags and flip flows are to be changed no more often than once a week to reduce the risk of introducing infection. Night drainage bags are used for excess drainage to avoid getting up during the night. To connect the night bag, remove the cap and connect to the bottom of the leg bag or flip flow and position the tap in a downwards position to allow drainage into the night bag. By connecting the night bag in this manner, you will reduce the risk of infection by maintaining a closed drainage system. To disconnect the night bag, position the tap upwards and disconnect the night bag, drain and discard. Night bags are single use only. Hygiene is of vital importance while you have a urinary catheter as it prevents the introduction of infection. You should bathe or shower every day with soap and water, paying particular attention to the urinary catheter. Standard procedure dictates that males retract the foreskin and clean around the urinary catheter before returning the foreskin to a normal position. For females, separate the labia minora and cleanse with a front-to-back motion. Catheter tubes should be cleaned in a downward motion away from the body. It is important to be vigilant and know the signs and symptoms of catheter-associated urinary tract infections. Symptoms include fever or chills, pain in the lower back or abdomen, poor appetite, nausea or vomiting, dark-coloured, cloudy or foul-smelling urine. It is important that if you have any of these symptoms that you contact your doctor. If you think your urinary catheter is blocked or bypassing, ensure the catheter tube is not kinked and the drainage bags are below the level of the bladder. Increasing fluid intake may reduce the risk of blockages. Your doctor will be able to advise you on suitable fluid intake. Please contact your doctor if you are experiencing any undue pain or discomfort, if your catheter is not draining or continuously bypassing, or if you notice blood or blood clots in the drainage bag. Ensure you have an appointment with your doctor to have your catheter changed at regular intervals. If you have any concerns regarding your urinary catheter, you should contact your local doctor or healthcare provider. Thank you for watching.